Mori plans to sneak out of uh, London. I think uh, most of the things that people see, they do hear. Not that they don't hear, but they just pretend at times. They hear most of these things. Why in office, when people talk about them, they hear it, but they just decide to look the other way as if it does not matter. But when it's very, very intense, they begin to issue statements here and there. Don't forget that uh, one doctor or so has really dragged Buhari to international criminal courts. And also, the Northern Elders Forum has called for the probe of Buhari that if he thinks that uh, he could run away from Daura, because that was what he told Nigerians. Nigerians said, he said he was going to be staying back in Daura, but if anybody disturbs him, he will just go to Niger Republic. And if you try to come and disturb him there, that his people will fight for him. They will defend him. Maybe he, some people thought maybe he was joking, you know, most of the nonsense things that they say. Because you are in power, people will just begin to laugh, quack, 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 and it infuriates me. Especially all those politicians, when somebody is talking nonsense, they will just be laughing. Even when the person is not making sense, just to make the person feel at home. Even some stinking jokes that they crack. Maybe they thought he was joking, but this man has been a deceitful person right from time. Now, yeah, he couldn't go to, he couldn't stay back in Niger Republic, even in Daura. He should go there now. No, not. Of course, since I've been a former head of state or a former president, they will have all these hoarders and security people guarding him, but I'm sure he's still not comfortable with that. That was why he ran to, he ran to London. And now they are dragging him here and there. The Northern Elders Forum said, you cannot run. There is no way or where you can run to that you will not, if they really want to go after you, because we know that uh, Tinubu is joking. Now play in just day. He's not going to do anything. After leaving France uh, summit, they told us that he went on a private visit. Now Tinubu, why are you go see for them? Mm. Now why are you go see? So now that kind of person, now you see, say he won't probe uh, this man. So I think uh, every time, whatever he does, because he has uh, is, he has once been a, a public figure, we still have a they will still have a, those who are going to be speaking on their behalf. If you have done well, nobody cares about you. Even if uh, Sinubu is not going to go after you, Nigerians will be going after him. People will be dragging him left, right, and center. Well, I don't know. Correct me if I'm if I'm um, if I'm not right. Correct me. I don't think I've ever had uh, anybody dragging uh, Good Luck Jonathan to I uh, to ICC this and this and this and that. Of course, of course people talked about uh, the corruption that happened under him. What can we say that uh, Tinubu or Buhari did that Nigerians will really be proud of? That Nigerians will be proud of? Maybe because uh, Good Luck Jonathan considered defeat. <laughs> Maybe Good Luck Jonathan considered defeat. That's why they are not. They didn't go after him. But Buhari, even if a uh, right man hand, a uh, right man, Tinubu says he's not going to prove him because, like uh, what they discuss, we see he see God leaked that uh, nobody should come and disturb him here. Oh. Nobody should come and disturb him in London. That he's not ready to answer to any probe, and we learn that uh, Tinubu promised him that he's not going to probe him and his boys, his real boys, or oh, not the far away ones, so oh. <laughs> the real boys, the Kabas. Who are the Kabas? Maman Daura and the his private secretary, Tunde, mm, Tunde Sabi or something. So those ones, eh, even Malami, they are not going to touch them. Malami is saying, in day, you know, they run and go anywhere, saying they. But we don't say, fear no good, let eh, Tunubu go after him. If he dare not, Tunubu dare not. So I think eh, they dragging, Nigerians dragging, dragging him here and there. It's worth making Tinubu or Buhari, you know, I'm always. You know, of course, there are two of them are five and six now. Elderly people who have crumbled this country because of the dragon here and there. That is why Nigeria. That's why he's, he wants to be running from pillar to post. Anywhere he goes, Nigerians must see no. Hmm. Nigerians must see no. So where do you want to run to? You opened your eye and scattered everything. When you came on board, we know what Nigerians were were facing. But we didn't know that uh, it was really, you know, they always say that uh, if, you're, if a, ma a woman has never tested a, a two husbands, will not know, she will not know the difference. And it's vice versa. Also, a man, if you have not even, you know, have an encounter with one or two women, more than two women, you will not even know the difference. And it's applicable in all other things that we do. Like they always say that uh, somebody who has not even gone out 
we think that uh, his father's a vineyard or farmland is the biggest or vineyard or whatever is the biggest but once you go out you say wow because maybe you are a local champion so it is always like that nigerians have tasted tested it of uh, 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 you know what used to be and what it is now even to the extent the manner at which these politicians you know ask with impunity nigeria will say it is better for us to go back to the military that the military is even better it then people were like ah if we are able to get democracy back that it, uh, what is it called the military era you know was not it at all but we thought they thought that a uh, democracy uh, would be a good thing to nigerians but fortunately unfortunately the so-called um the so-called democracy is something is something else they are mixing the two together it's like those who were clamoring for a uh, democracy that that time that we should leave we should stop this a uh, that this a uh, military regime should stop in 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 you know they now they've learned what the military may used to enjoy now they are bringing tyranny and what have you into democracy and that's why the whole thing is just upside down everything is zigzag nigerians are just fed up nigerians are tired what is the meaning of this nonsense so worry you go nowhere you go nowhere you think uh, they cannot drag you from anywhere okay now you think they cannot drag you from anywhere you go to you want you, you open your eye and scatter everything and you're calling you're, you're telling us that you should not be proved